Yo! 7.30 a.m. I know it sounds uh, kind of corny, but I've, I have never, uh, I won't say never, but I haven't been awake at this hour. Think about, um, you know, for about maybe three months. <laughs> uh, but I'm doing a, a course that's related to communication to help me with my business and uh, you know kind of in life in general always want to get better and um, yeah I mean it's a pretty hectic schedule today but um, thing is I just take all my habits and I just made a video about it yesterday I take all my habits and they are the first thing in my life before learning before you know obviously one of my habits is learning but I mean before any course that might come up before any client before any distraction anything urgent that needs to be taken care of it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what comes up because uh, my habits are always first my habits are always number one because they're my anchor they're my anchor factor the only thing that I can rely on to consistently move me forward and grow now again does that mean that I might lose an opportunity or two because you know I have something I could do now I'm like no no I have to do my habits yes absolutely and don't get me any wrong on that you absolutely are able to lose opportunities when you do that but is it better to lose one opportunity and stay consistent on the 10 times that you would have not been consistent for something that wasn't an opportunity yes it's better to go steady than to go fast spurts and hope that one of these spurts is the right one so I as I said I plan my day around my habits uh, I, I print I, you know could say print out I basically write down my daily uh, template of, ha- of habits I, I just copy it uh, for the next day before the next day even starts so I don't wait for the next day I just I already copy it for the next day so that's kind of a blank slate and then I change up the habits and add kind of strategize my day around it so I'm like okay I'm gonna wake up early today that means uh, I'm not gonna have much time during the day when will I have time okay I'll have time in the morning have time in the at the end of the day that's when I'm gonna make videos let's put reminders on that you know I'm uh, probably it's probably not the best time again because it's, it's an intensive two-day course So I also didn't get too much sleep. So it's like, okay, it's also not the right time in the morning. Again, listen carefully. It's not the right time to sit down and write down uh, my goals and do all the kind of technical stuff. You know, I like to write down a quote and then put that quote on Instagram, stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, when do I get a chance to do that? Well, I got a 45 minute break before it begins. So I'll have kind of quiet peace of mind to sit down and do that great so I plan my day around that so again I just I just put in all the variables and I try to think it as as best as possible because if you improvise if you go for like okay uh, you know whatever happens it's good we're gonna take care of it you know and you have as many habits as I do and I mean some even you know one-fifth of the habit would uh, break you <laughs> in terms of uh, willpower and 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 ability to make decisions it's too much information for you to handle you want your brain space to be open it's like uh, Obama and Mark Zuckerberg they just wear the same shirt every day (laughs) you know same suit same shirt because they just don't want to have that decision fatigue you know it's hard to make decisions uh, so you want to make it as simple as possible so when I uh, um, went to sleep yesterday I actually took clothes that I want to wear today and I just uh, put them put them there 
so that I don't have to think about it in the morning. So everything is very much pre-planned for me. And on, on the other hand, it's flexible. So I, personally, uh, I, don't lo- I don't like hard schedules because I'm a very artistic guy. I like to do things when I know I'm gonna feel like it. So I can't do like, okay, between this hour and this hour, you have to do this and that. But I do use uh, general pointers. So at around this hour, this is the time to do this. If you get the feeling, then at this hour, it's the right time to do that. And that way, like I said, I made a video about um, my days are called, my days are a blank canvas, and I'm a habit artist. That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> this one is like a, I won't call it a Mona Lisa, but it's more complicated than most of my days since there's a lot more factors uh, that it's not like, you know, all day is like the way I choose it. Yeah. It's like, okay, there are some restrictions. So how do I fit my habits into these restrictions? So that when I go to sleep today, I look back at what I did. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's done. I did it. I, everything is good. Check like progress in all areas of life. And you have to be flexible because on this kind of day, I'm not going to work out for two hours. This is not going to happen too much stress too much stuff to do so but what I will do is uh, do a hundred uh, pull-ups uh, and 250 push-ups you know am I gonna lose muscle mass or fitness if I work out every day and do fucking you know 100 pull-ups and 250 push-ups today of course not you know I won't lose muscle even if I don't work out for like three days or a week <laughs> But it's better to be paranoid <laughs> and make sure you maintain the habit every day because it's not about the results, about the habit. So that's a bit more about my philosophy and how I uh, deal with the idea of habits on a kind of more practical day-to-day example. Again, most days are not going to be like that. Most days are going to be more calm, relaxed. You are going to have that ability to kind of wing it, like, hey, let's wake up and just see how it goes <laughs> you know obviously as long as you finish everything and then you kind of find yeah, you do it for a while it works better it works less better until you kind of find your rhythm your style oh this is when I like to do this this one I like to do that and when you have your rhythm kind of a built-in schedule that's when it get real easy because now you have like a rhythm a daily routine that works for you which is the best <laughs> So, uh, for example, one last thing is that, for example, uh, uh, goals like uh, um, reading two hours a day. Well, you know, I'm going go to go to, to a fucking seminar all day long. So I just crossed that off and just completely uh, cut it off from today because there's no point that I think about it since, well, I'm studying. Or, for example, during the course, uh, we actually had a segment yesterday where... Uh, we had to almost for an hour kind of be become mindful like close our eyes be present in the moment be here because that's supposedly a key part of the communication of course not supposedly <laughs> it's pretty sure so you know I kind of treated that like meditating for one hour because you know fuck it I had my eyes closed and I was trying to be in the present moment for a fucking hour you know most people <laughs> barely made it because most people don't meditate, but you no, know, for me it was fairly easy. But again, uh, that's meditation for me, so I crossed it off again. So also be aware that you're not kind of repeating yourself, doing th- same things twice. Oh, you know, but and also don't be, you know, don't be a bitch. Like don't be like, hey, I closed my eyes for five minutes, so it means I meditated for an hour. Like don't round it out too much, but uh, but do be aware. Uh, for example. Uh, as I said, I really, really like to walk. So I actually walked there. So it was like a two hour walk. Fucking awesome. That's why I made the videos while walking yesterday. And um, I considered that as physical exercise yesterday. You know, today I'm driving, but again, I, I considered that, uh, you know, two hours walk, physical exercise. You know, if I walk for two hours every day, would that be good? No, because 
um, my goal is to become uh, much more muscular and much more ripped but but for one day would that be good would that be good is that good enough for you are you going to accept that as fine if you do you're in good shape if you're a perfectionist like I was you're not gonna stay in the long term baby you're gonna get pissed off on yourself and you're gonna fucking quit so uh, you know learn to uh, oh and I missed the habit yesterday I missed the habit of uh, of, uh, of writing 10 pages every day and when I say missed it doesn't mean like oh it's too hard I can't do it and you know I just go to sleep hate myself but yeah it's like a strategic strategic decision baby I was about to you know I was asking myself hey look dude you're gonna get like five hours of sleep would uh, are you do you agree just one time to strategically let go of uh, this habit and because my head is good you know I don't have all the shit you have like oh I'm so stupid I'm stupid 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 how could you do that no oh my god no you're so dumb I hate myself how could I not do it no I knew it I knew I would I knew it no <laughs> I'm like oh good okay dude no problem like I, look, I basically ask myself two questions like uh, first one is it, it, is this like an excuse if I really think about it rationally like is this an excuse or is this like like dude I'm beat I'm done uh, it's just not the day for that and again rationally look I need more than four hours of sleep and it would take me like an hour and a half I'd be fucking cranky you know, it's it's not just about the goals, it's about the quality of life. Again, don't use that as, excuse, as an excuse, but again, it was also about me having a good time for, you know, to an extent, you know, sometimes, yeah, you have to suffer a bit, but not, not to that extent. So, okay, number one, done, okay. Question number two, is this the first time, listen carefully, is this the first time that I'm skipping on this habit? Yes. Have I skipped on this habit before? At least in the last week or two. No. Is this a habit of skipping shit? No. Is this a one-time thing? Yes. Are you going to do it tomorrow no matter fucking what? Yes. Good man. Good job. Go to bed, buddy. <laughs> and then I go to bed, you know, and I leave it incomplete. I just, again, I just don't do that one thing. I still feel good. You know, and I write down my successes, I write down, I did this, I did that, I progressed in this, I progressed in that, I did this, I did that, but I don't go like, hey, no, I didn't do this one thing out of 20 plus things, so fuck it, I'm gonna quit. No, again, is this like a, a one-time thing? Yeah, is, it, um, is this a habit? No, I mean a habit of quitting. No, is this a strate strategic one-time decision? Yes. Well, I never do that again. I mean, you know, at least in the next two weeks. No, because if you skip a habit uh, two days in a row, now you're in trouble. <laughs> That's where the trouble begins. Once you skip a habit two days in a row, you're developing your reverse habit of skipping. <laughs> so yeah, under so, you know, when I said the don't be a bitch rule, I should have said, you know, don't go to bed until you complete all your habits, no matter fucking what. Unless it's one thing out of everything and it's just one thing that doesn't repeat itself it's just, that just happens once because uh oh yeah now i know why, why i don't wake up in the morning it's because all the sad pathetic angry people they're going to work and they hate their lives i don't like that negativity <laughs> anyway um yeah so so just make sure you do that and you're going to be good uh anything that's too excessive is always bad even with my uh, strict sense of uh, of doing the goals it still it still has a, a small nuance because if you hate it if you're so committed that you're not gonna miss a single day in anything uh, it's brutal uh, you're gonna quit because uh, first and foremost um, you're not you know a martyr you're not doing this to suffer you're doing this to have a good life so a person that never allows himself 
any freedom to give up even one habit, it's just gonna suffer, dude. You're gonna rack up a ton of uh, cortisol, which is kind of like stress hormone in your system. Uh, eventually, you're just gonna say, "Hey, I just, I just uh, fucking quit. It's not fun. I, I'm not doing this to suffer." You know, you might suffer once in a while, but like, hey, I'm not doing this to suffer every day. It's not the point. So, um, hope this uh, intimate look at my habits thinking, which is again my greatest asset. There's no asset that I value more than that. I uh, hope you like the good look you got at it. I can coach you on that. I can help you change your fucking life, dude. One call with me, your life is different. And you know what? It's free. I have a 100% success rate. Every single call I make, new call, people are like, what the fuck, dude? You changed my fucking life. I swear to God. One call, I've done thousands of these. And 100% of the time, not even one time, have I not been able to deeply, deeply help somebody. And other than that, like, subscribe if you haven't. And please comment. I love your comments. They're, they're awesome. Just say thank you, Robbie, or, 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 or it's a shit video. Anything. Just tell, give me your opinion, dude. Be introvert, you know, extroverts. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.